I want to do a little more watercolor, so that means I need a matte finish. You can just buff it to a matte finish or use a matte gel top coat and cure it and make sure it's not sticky at all. So I'm just going to wipe and clean this. And what I've got over here is some um, watercolor in these little tubes. Now this is really helpful because I'm not going to use it completely watered down. I want to be able to control how much. So I just give myself a little bit of color, a little bit of water on this brush. And then I'm just on one end going to mix the water with the paint. So I can kind of see what opacity it has like as I roll it here. And we're just going to practice the draft print. It's almost like you start with a wonky pentagon shape. And you start following and filling in the bulk edges. But I want it a little bit more watery. There we go. So start up in the top edge okay and what you're gonna do is again make kind of that blobby almost like a blobby square what you're focusing on here is actually space between these maybe slightly irregular um what do we call this rhombus <laughs> and you just want to leave a little bit of that pink space now i really love pink and brown together so i have this really pretty pink base going on but notice when i put the brown down I'm not making it perfect like oh this will fit perfect here I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and a little bit different so that it doesn't look like mm, necessarily a turtle a turtle might be more symmetrical and we're after we're after our giraffe look here and you can tell as the watercolor dries it goes a little more matte and we want it to do that in this case we're gonna do something a little bit Mm, reverse like almost like reverse watercoloring where we're going to remove some of the color after the paint dries so make sure you're getting all the way to your edges and you want to almost create the effect like the design is falling off the edge so I'm just going to fill in right here and you can kind of tell where I'm going to do a little bit of a wonky shape which works but I'm going to finish it off the edge I think instead of this tip here we're gonna make it a little bigger here and then like we have a full other shape that we only get a partial view of and again just in this little bit of a corner we're gonna do that as well now you can see where it's newer and where it's still drying so I'm gonna clean off my brush and then while it's getting cleaned off the paint is drying and I'm grabbing an absorbent little wipe here's the goal we're going to go in the center and just scrub off some of that watercolor. Now you can do it a ton. You can do it just a little bit. Like anything that you like or the look you're after is what you can do. And sometimes it gets a little bit full and I'll dry my brush off and go back in and kind of absorb some of that water. I'm loving the dimension I'm getting from this as I go through. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's watercolor, right? But I can tell I like when a little bit more light pops through, so I let it dry. And then I'm going to go through, and I have a little whoopsie here. I'm going to add a little bit more color to. Just clean in between that space, grab my little brush. There we go. Easy to fix, right? When you have that kind of control with that paint. I'm going to let it dry. I think I want to have a little bit more removed in the space just to have a little bit more dimension to the effect. Makes it a little more fun for me and I feel like it looks a lot more like a giraffe. So once that's all cleaned out, what we've got to make sure we do is allow this paint to dry fully because we're mixing mediums here. So really let it dry. Let's take a look at it matte. I really like that matte. Let's go ahead and top coat this and take a look at it shiny. Make sure you've let everything dry and do a generous top coat. And once it's cured, you're going to be all set with your giraffe look done with watercolors. So fun.